Welcome back, guys. Coming up, we catch some serious air with Coco Zurita. The Chilean BMX biker is rising through the ranks as one of the most versatile riders on the circuit. And after an impressive performance at the X Games, Coco is ready to make his mark, whether it's with his wicked kickflips or his down-to-earth personality. But one thing is for sure, no matter what kind of obstacles he has to overcome or what kind of position he finds himself while twisting through the air on his bike, Coco never bails out on a trick. So thank you, God, he always wears a helmet. That reminds me, please, people, come on, wear your helmet when riding your bikes, just like Coco. All right, you gotta check this out. American Latino Athletes, presented by McDonald's. My discipline is BMX first, which is the half pipe, the one you guys see all the time in TV or sometimes in snowboarding. Same thing, but just this beautiful bike. I feel fear all the time, you know, when I do this stuff, but I just like it so much that I still do it, but you know what? It takes a lot of courage and you need to have a strong will to be able to be like, I don't want to go party, I want to go practice, you know? Originally from Santiago, Chile, Francisco Zurita, who goes by Coco, learned English in order to get to America, a move that has paid off in a big way. Known for his consistently huge airs and for going all out on every run, Zurita broke onto the BMX scene in 2002, and he has not looked back since. I got to a point where I was riding really good in Chile and there was nothing else to do out there because the evolution of the sport is way behind, you know, compared to America. If I wanted to keep progressing and doing what I wanted to do, I had to move to America. And that's when I, my family supported me. They were like, okay, you don't want to go to college? Okay, go to America. So I grabbed my bike, my clothing, 500 bucks, came to America, and started, you know? Just the language was a big barrier for me at the beginning, and then, but you know what? Overall, people received us in a really good way. It's amazing how, like, BMX doesn't put, put any barriers between cultures, you know? As long as you're on a bike, we're all brothers, you know? difference between like uh, regular sport versus extreme sport athlete is a lot. They live with rules. We don't really have rules, you know. We do what we want basically. We dress how we want. It's just a lot of freedom. I totally feel like I'm representing the Hispanic people, you know. Who? The sport is growing so much in the past few years that even the Latin people now is involved. <laughs> I have a personality and there's a certain way I want to be, you know? I'm re really concerned about what I say or what I look like and stuff like that, you know? Because I'm at the same time, there's a lot of kids looking at me, you know? Some of them, look, they look up to me and I want to be, make sure I'm a role model. 